Hey there guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the big European final coming up. England against Italy, Euro 2020, Euro 2021, whatever you want to call it. It's the big final coming up at Wembley, it's going to be huge. And is it going to be coming home? I don't know, it might be coming home, but we don't know, it might might not be coming home. Italy will fancy their chances, but hopefully for all you England fans out there, or you Italians if you're watching, you'll be fancying your chances in this final. So let's just talk about each team really, uh, first of all you've got England, they started off quite slow in the group stage, they had quite an easy group but they got they got through the group stage and then they got uh, a tough draw against Germany, they beat Germany there, played well against Germany and then they kicked on after that getting Ukraine and they done really really well against uh, Ukraine, played some great football in that game. And they got to Denmark and I think they dominated the Denmark game and even though they went through on a bit of a with a dodgy decision, I think they deserve to do. Sorry, they deserve to go through. So yeah, overall, I think England deserve to be in the final. They do deserve to be in the final. But so do Italy. Italy also deserve to be in the final. Italy started off with a bang in the tournament. Uh, they beat. Uh, they won all their group games. Sorry, and they beat some tough teams to get to the final. They beat Austria, which was a pretty solid team. Uh, they've also beat Belgium and they also beat Spain, so they beat a lot of good teams. And uh, also in the group they played not easy teams, but they didn't play really bad teams. They played quite tough teams, they played Wales, uh, they had Switzerland as well who ended up beating France. And uh, they also had Turkey, which was a lot of people's dark horse in the tournament. So. I think Italy have also been the best team in the tournament in my opinion, that's just my opinion. So if England, let's just talk about England, right? So we've got England, um, they've been playing pretty well in the tournament. They play it pretty safe, they play it pretty safe like around the box and all that. But they look really threatening with, you've got Sterling, you've got Kane up top, you've also got Grealish on the bench, they've got a really strong squad. Uh, but one of their strong points from this tournament has obviously been their defence. Now they've actually only conceded one goal in the tournament and that was that free kick from Damsgaard in the Denmark semi-final so that was interesting and they've actually not conceded from open play yet so they've only conceded one goal all tournament which is a bit insane I mean, fair play to Southgate on getting that defence sorted out uh, also what I'd say is uh, they've got a good base in defence as well so like they've got like they always consistently pick the same player, so if they're playing a back four, it's always Shaw and then Walker and then Stones and Maguire. And if they can go to a back three, they put Walker in at this right centre back spot, uh, Stones and Maguire, and then put Shaw and maybe a Trippier or something like that out there. So yeah, they've got a good defence. And also Pickford, he's been really good in this tournament. Like overall, even though in the last game he's a bit made a few rash decisions, but overall. England have been amazing defensively in the tournament and uh, another one of their key players I'd say is Sterling and probably their frontline Kane as well because ever since Kane got that goal against Germany he's really kicked on after that and Sterling got all tournament even though he had a poor season with Man City last season he's been amazing in this tournament I think he's got three goals but uh, you could also say four maybe even though it's an own goal in the Denmark game like his running into the box led to that chance, uh, for, for uh, led to that chance, led to that goal uh, against Denmark that equalised. England have been playing pretty well, but you also not not to forget about Italy as well. Italy, they've they've been the best team in my opinion in the tournament. They've played really tough teams, they've beat these tough teams, and they had to they've had to dig deep a few times as well. England have had to do that as well. They've done that against Germany where they had to get a tough game uh, but yeah Italy have also had to do that as well they've dug deep in that Spain game they played really well in that Spain game uh, so yeah they, they deserve to be in the final they beat Belgium quite convincingly in my opinion uh, they defend well Italy they've got a great defence the same as England really but they look a lot more threatening going forward than they do as England so that's what I would worry about as an England fan, is their attack. They're very strong in attack and uh, they look really good defensively as well. So it's going to be hard to break them down. Now what I think will actually happen in the game, I think it's going to be 
a very cagey affair. But I think Southgate, seeing as he likes being like the underdog and all that, I think it's going to be quite similar to the Germany game. I think he's going to go to a back three, I think, again. I think he's going to sit back and counter them. I think that's how he'll set up. And for Italy, I think that I think they're going to have a lot of the ball in this tournament, uh, this tournament, in this final. So if they want to uh, win this tournament, I think they've got uh, they've got to get Verratti on the ball, get Insigne on the ball, get direct movement from the wing backs, Di Lorenzo and Emerson, get Chiesa on the ball. Chiesa has been a huge player for them, getting huge goals like the Austria goal in the round of 16, the extra time. And also, he uh, got the goal, a very important goal against uh, Spain. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting game. But I think overall, it's going to be at Wembley. That's another huge thing you've got to say as well. Home advantage for England. It's going to be huge. It's England's to lose, I think. It's England's to lose. So, based on what I've said and what I think is going to happen, I think it's England's to lose. And I think it might be coming home. I think it's going to come home, but we never know, Italy might win it, but I think it's going to come home, so hopefully for all you England fans, it's going to come home. So yeah, that's my opinion, let me know yours in the comments, and uh, yeah, feel free to like and subscribe guys, and uh, thanks, I'll see you later.